how to go into iTunes and set all your stuff. And here I'm going to demonstrate. I'm making a video right now. Here we go. So first off, if you drag your song in, like so, you can hit Command-I on the Mac or con Control-I on a PC, or right-click, oh here, cancel out of here, or right-click on the file, and you can go to Get Info. Once you're here, you can type in the information that you'd like to see. And you can also add artwork. Just drag and drop an image in here, and then click OK. What I like to do if I'm doing multiple songs that are going to be a part of a compilation, let's take a look at these two. They are already grouped because I've already done what I'm about to demonstrate. But if I do Command I or Control I on both of them, it says, are you sure you want to collect or show two items at once? I say, sure. And then I type in all the stuff that's going to be shared between the collection. In this case, the artist, the, the collection uh, by the composer, and then the album artist. You don't, you don't have to put something in here, but I usually do. Then whatever genre, the year that it's made, and then how many total are in this collection? All of this data will be on all of the tracks. I then add the artwork, which you can simply get an image uh, from the internet and drag and drop it in this window, and it will add the artwork to every uh, song in this collection. When you're done with that, click OK, then click on each individual track, and then decide what order you want the tracks to go in. And what's nice is it will automatically take you to the next one, which is this one right here, and then I could type in two, and if I had more in the collection, um, I would just number them however I want. And what's nice is that when you're done with that, when you drag these songs out and put them onto a jump drive somewhere else, it will retain the image, it will retain the metadata that's in each MP3, so that if somebody puts it on their computer, they'll have the image. If they have the whole collection, it will automatically group it together in iTunes, which is really nice. But that information stays in the MP3 file. And I find using iTunes to do this to be the easiest way to set it all up. And that's the end of my demonstration.